what up y'all hope you guys been doing good hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys watched the last video it was a banger um i'm just coming inside it is hella hot today out here in arizona but um if you can guess by the title i'm gonna be showing you guys my detailing setup it's out of my sedan and for those that are on a budget and can't get either a van or a trailer or whatever and if you want to start with what you got maybe you could take some tips from my setup but yeah um other than that uh, hopefully you guys went to go watch my recent video like i said um the recent video was just about me starting this detailing business and i said as of today for this video i'm gonna be dropping what my setup looks like um or i should say our setup looks like me and my best friend we both started this so yeah um let's just go ahead and just knock this video out uh let's go check everything out i'll show you guys everything i got from um just a lot of the soaps I use, chemicals to the whole setup, inside and out, so yeah. So here it is, y'all, my 2004 Toyota Corolla, my daily. Been using this for the past four years and thinking this thing has treated me nothing but well. And right now with these gas prices up, it's not too bad on gas. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the trunk setup. Uh, don't mind the dirtiness, I do gotta wash this car. Um, and it is a little chaotic back here, so warning for all you guys. So I am running of course you need extension cords if you're going to be doing vehicles where that well i'll explain why i'm using extension cords but and then it's like 50 foot and then i got my two bags for interior for drills restorations and stuff yada 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 then i got the chemical guys pro bro pro blow gun just to like blow off water and stuff just to help just with the quicker dry and stuff for vehicles i would not recommend this this thing sucks guys I'm gonna end up upgrading to a real uh, blowgun soon. And I got some my buckets, two method wash, and then my wheel bucket is back there. So yeah, you do need those. I am running the rigid vacuum cleaner. Yeah, the rigid vacuum cleaner. Um, this thing does suck as well, but I've gotta use it for now until I can afford a better vacuum. Um, so yeah, this thing does pretty good though, as it is, but not too good. And then back to the extension cords, as I was explaining, I am running electric power washer. Guys. So yeah, um, this is the Ryobi 2000 PSI um, electric power washer. So yeah, I am running electricity, guys, um, electric. So wherever place I go, I'm going to end up just doing a plug into the wall because I am not using gas or a generator. So yeah, um, that's that. This is the trunk setup. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and go to the back seat because it's pretty chaotic back here. But yeah. Um, this is where a lot of the stuff that I like I keep back here. So I'll just go through everything real quick because it is really hot. I got the Bissell Spot Clean Pro extractor. Takes out stains and seats, carpet. Um, this works really good. I think this ran me one ran us 150. So yeah, go check this guy's out. Again, that's the Bissell Spot Clean Pro extractor. Um, brand new. I just barely picked it up two weeks ago. So yeah. Um, and then we are running the bigger gun and the smaller gun. Um, I do got the chemical guys, um, let me move this cause that fell chemical guys, um, foam cannon. It works all right. It still does the job. And then I do got this one that was lended to my bro, um, from my bro, the twinkle star foam cannon. This thing works really good. Really, really good. I'm happy he let me borrow that. And then, um, we got everything from our chemicals to our wheel cleaner. Spray and sealant waxes, um, engine bay clean, all-purpose cleaners, interior cleaners. Um, yeah, well, we got a refill for the Bissell. We got some extra stuff right here. We got the VRP from Chemical Guys. That's some good stuff. If you guys want to shine up stuff, that VRP works really good. And then we got window cleaners and yada, yada, yada. Um, we do got the extra microfiber towels that I never opened. So, yeah, that's that, guys. Um and then we got right here we got adam's car shampoo that i do use that st stuff works really good i, I sometimes i'll mix it with the all-purpose cleaner just so i can bring up that soap and contaminants that's stuck on a lot of the vehicles and stuff but yeah um and then here and then i'll show you the big boy of course if you are going to be mobile you do need a tank um i am running we are running a 35 gallon tank um it works pretty good washes about two cars unfortunately it doesn't really wash anymore now maybe a big vehicle would probably only wash one but 
that's the only bad part about this i do plan on upgrading to maybe a 50 or 60 gallon tank just so i can get squeeze some more cars in so i'm not having to just go back and forth filling up water and stuff i do fill up with spotless water if you're out here in arizona you guys might know where pressure equipment sells is pes um they sell a lot of everything for detailers and stuff that's where you can pick up most of the chemicals your spotless water and everything so yeah i do go pick up water from there about 15 minutes away from where i currently live so yeah that's what i run and then i am running a brass um set up where i connect the hose right here um three fourths so yeah my on and off and everything so yeah um that's pretty much it guys um, i'm gonna go to that side over there um yeah it's not too bad it's not mounted either um i did test it out guys yes before i started detailing anyone cars i did test it out with the water all the way up and once this thing i pull it out to about right here that way it gives me enough room enough clearance just clearance just to connect it and turn on and off and shut the door and stuff but yes i did fill it all the way up just to make sure it doesn't fall or anything but yeah guys once this thing's filled all the way up this thing ain't moving at all i do plan on either take maybe doing a seat delete and maybe putting a board down there so i can actually mount it and when i get a bigger tank or maybe doing little trailer right here where i get a bigger tank you guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think but yeah so that's this side let me push this back this little extractor is really awesome guys you should check that out but yeah let's go to that side then go into this side sorry guys about the sun but um right here i just keep mainly a bunch of rags and microfibers that i use i want to separate them to where i know which ones are which for windows and stuff and then down here is where i keep all my tools such as wheel wheel cleaners brushes um and all those goodies for the brushes from interior to exterior but yeah um so it's not too bad in the back seat um and then going to the front um don't mind this door someone hit me a long time ago and that thing's dented right there but um i ended up i don't know i have right here the mcculloch's um steamer um i was recommended this by a good detailer that i know out here in arizona so yeah um it does work really well it takes a while for it to heat up which is pretty normal like any other steamer but it works pretty good so guys if you guys are looking for a pretty good steamer for your first one i would recommend this one this is the 30 something hundred one i forgot what this one was but this ran us i think 200 dollars, if i'm not mistaken i don't remember and then i just end up having these black gloves that i use you can buy these at lowe's or home depot for like five bucks but yeah I'll just keep that right there and that's pretty much it guys um yeah that steamer works really good you guys should try that out if not they have a smaller version that's a little cheaper um but yeah it's not too crowded back here oh yeah and then right here i don't want to go through it but we do have some air fresheners guys the wild cherry ones the wonder wafers um those those smell pretty good i use them for almost every one every interior detail i use but yeah you guys comment down below what do you guys think about my first setup um i couldn't go all crazy like a lot of other detailers but hey it's just to help me get started and then maybe in the future we'll end up seeing me in a van that'll be pretty nice but yeah let me open this back up but yeah guys that's my setup um it's not too bad one thing i could say i do save more than the people that have bigger vehicles and vans i do save on gas a lot more this only takes 65 dollars to fill up so yeah um maybe like 70 but yeah that's my setup guys um when i'm detailing cars i just leave it all open like that um i was thinking of maybe soon getting a hitch and actually doing a full little trailer right here like that hangs you guys know that those little hitches that hang right here and then put the well when i get a bigger tank put the bigger tank right there that way i have more room in the back and maybe i can transfer some of this stuff to the back seats but yeah this is the setup guys it's not too bad um freaking love this car this has been my daily driver for the past four years so yeah Ugh. nice 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 love this car a lot and i'm not gonna lie guys when i had the q50 this thing drove smoother than the q50 i'm not gonna lie but yeah there it is guys and then uh, i'll just go ahead and show you guys this um before my phone overheats um i do have my old power washer right here 1900 psi um yeah that one sucks though um and then i have a gun and stuff and then i have some if i ever want to do some maybe some uh carbon fiber correction clay bar
Glade Luber, but these are these are ass guys. These don't even work good. I need to get some better ones. Um, and then I have mostly some of the main chemicals. I have some more chemicals in there, but um, these are the main ones that I use. I buy by the gallons because it is cheaper to use when you're always detailing all the time. Um, so yeah, I got uh, some 3D, 3D brown, and then some PNS. And then guys, for wheels, guys, if you get, I would recommend this for wheels. Uh, Double black uh, brake buster and total wheel cleaner by PNS. This is some good stuff right here, guys. You guys should go check that out. Again, that's by PNS. And then I have some extra microfibers that me and my bro ended up buying, but I haven't got, haven't really got to use any of these yet. Well, yeah, just got my. Whenever I go detail, I'll come bring my chemicals over here and fill up and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I do plan on getting some more chemicals as far as some more all-purpose cleaner and stuff. I am doing my research like crazy, guys. I'm watching videos almost every single day. I'm just trying to learn more and more and more as a young detailer. Um, and in the future, I do plan on uh, getting a licensing LLC, making it an actual business so I can actually reach bigger companies, maybe get in some contracts with some people to make some big money. Well, yeah, that's in the future for later, though. I'm going to just do my thing for a few months. And then if that happens, if it happens, if it doesn't, then oh, well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I can't wait till I get my next car, guys, in the future. It's going to be a long time, sadly, but it's all right. It gives me some time to focus, you know, just take care of things I got to take care of and grind and grow the business. And yeah, um, my friend that's doing it with me, um, he's sick right now, but um, I'm praying for a speedy recovery for him so we can... Well, I'm, I'm running it pretty much by myself right now, but I'm just praying that he gets a speedy recovery so he can just join me and yeah. We'll just be grinding together. But, yeah, other than that, guys, um, hope you guys took some tips. And, yeah, comment down below what else you guys think I should add to my detailing um, arsenal. Um, so maybe some things that I'm missing. Let me know. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid to fix some things that I need to fix. But, yeah, forget to show you guys. Um, I don't know why I said bye already. But my detail, my uh, business cards ended up coming in, guys. Look how they look. It looks so sick. There's the purple Q and the black Q. It looks fire. Oh, my God sick it's two of the sickest cues in arizona well rip mine i don't have mine anymore but my boy marks is crazy but yeah and then here's the back um mark and santos auto detailing services full interior slash exterior details full headlight trim and interior restorations dm or call for packages slash pricings and then you guys, there's my number there, Santos six two three six four zero seven four three one. But yeah, and then my Instagram, MNS underscore detailing. And yeah, check that out. That officer was like, "What the hell is that kid doing?" But yeah. Um. Other than that, guys, it's hot. I'll see y'all later in the next video. Deuces.